Hello, my darlings. How are we? It's absolutely fucking freezing today. I swear to God. It's actually not even freezing. It's only two degrees, but I am so cold. Like I'm the worst Scottish person you've ever met. I would say that it's been living in England for a few years that's made me this way. But the truth of the matter is, is that I was just this cold even when I was living in Scotland. <laughs> I'm a wuss. Anyway, some of you will know, some of you might not, um, that we, being me and my partner and our two dogs, are gonna be moving full time into our van in about a month and a bit's time. And that is fucking great and really exciting. But for me, I need to make myself a workspace because I'm a student with Open University, which means that I, two days a week, I'm doing uni work from home. YouTube is my main hobby and that's all done editing wise and filming wise is mostly done from home. Um, so that's two days a week. And then I haven't yet found a job for when we move down there but I have a few leads and one of those is a work from home position as well so I need a space that I can work comfortably in. When I've been working in the van up until this point I'll work from the fridge on like the counter which is fine for short periods of time but because you're twisting like that and it's not really comfy it's like a hard plastic fridge top it's really not ideal for like full on full days of work day after day after day so i want to make a desk welcome to the garage my goal with any project that i ever do is to spend absolutely zero to no money <laughs> um so I know that I have some nice countertop left in here from when we did the van build and we've got quite a bit of wood, we've got a bit of metal as well. <laughs> problems that you face as an amateur DIYer is trying to get a straight line um, because unless you have like one of those really big expensive meter long straight lines you're fucked. So I'm trying to draw a straight line with this long piece of factory cut wood that I have but it's not straight. It's cut almost straight but it's not quite straight. <laughs> I just went in for lunch and um, my, hello, my brother-in-law and his girlfriend were making <laughs> jam for a bunch of his clients and uh, they have to peel like 25 kilograms of apples and I just thought I would help out. In the same amount, not the same part of the apple. Uh, this is the first one, Shirley. Don't judge <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute ingenuity from me every second of the day. <sighs> it's like so perfect. I've just gone and grabbed my laptop because I think I've had potentially a very clever idea. I was thinking it was a bit wide and I'm thinking that if I cut back 10 centimeters and make a little sort of extrusion into this pocket then it could actually rest in that pocket and I think it's thick enough that that would be structurally integral. I was wondering at what point in the video the camera would fall over, bless you. It's literally just like become a ritual, it falls over in every video these days. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's test bit time. Oh yeah. Please work, please work. <gasps> 
Okay, it doesn't need to be nearly as long as that. <laughs> yeah, we can shave a lot off of that. But oh my god, that works! Sick! Oh my god, this looks so good! Lewis! Look. Is that it? Is it, is it in? No, I've, it's on the left hand side, it's working, but look what I did! Oh, Isn't that clever? It's clever. So I don't need to have anything protruding on the Y axis from the left hand side. That's really clever. So it just sits in, it's a bit too long. I wasn't sure how long it needed to be, so I can probably cut a few centimetres off of it. How is it going to hold up on the other side then? Legs. So it was getting really quite dark last night, so I ended up giving up fairly um, short after what you last saw. One thing that I did do off camera, cut the little shelf extrusion part in half, and then with that half, I cut it into thirds, and that's what we're going to be working with today to make little um, like rivet type things so that the two pieces will slot together and hold together while I'm using the desk. Almost. We can't have it happen twice in one video. <laughs> that would be far too decadent. actually. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be fine. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Now that I've decided we're going to go with that like half size because this one broke off, how do I force that one to break off? <laughs> because all I was doing was like putting pressure on it and sanding it and it fell off. But I've been doing the same to this one and it's not falling off. You tell I'm not very good at kickboxing. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> yeah! Sick. Two thirds of the way there. I'm gonna practice for this one so that I can get it first time. Well, that was definitely worth all the practice. These tools have all been washed since yesterday's um, Apple antics, I promise. <laughs> By the way, a little bit of knowledge from me to you. If ever you are in need of an intense apple peeling um, solution, we initially tried with a drill bit, did not go well. It just ended up like drilling the core out of the apple. So what I used next was a hole borer. This was absolutely perfect because you jam it in and because it's long and flat, if, if anybody has never seen a hole borer before, because of the shape of it, it gets properly like stuck inside the apple and, and it doesn't core it. It just turns it even under pressure. So I don't know if that'll help anyone, but maybe. <laughs> athletically inclined does not make it so. I 
Okay, this has been drying up for about two hours now, so it should be ready to start with the most difficult part of the whole process, which is gonna be perfectly lining this up with the top of the desk. <laughs> As you can see by the fact that it's now pretty much dark outside, um, this has taken me ages and it just is a case of like cutting and then checking and then cutting and then checking again and again and again for as long as your patience will last. Um, but I think I'm almost there so I'm going to keep going for a little bit um, and I guess if you see before and afters then I was successful. project turned out I think this is like one of my favorite projects so far that I've done just because it's so like personal like I spend so much time working from home and because I don't have like my own home I've never had my own proper little workspace and this feels like a little proper workspace that's mine and it's like I can set it up exactly how I want it and oh my goodness I'm so fucking excited to actually use it for the first time and it just goes to show as well that like you can make the coolest things out of the random bits of shit that you have lying around like this countertop has just been sitting in the garage for the best part of a year now not doing anything and we've not known what the fuck to do with it but this is a good solid fucking desk you know like look at this <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like it and leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you would like. Um, and I will see you all next Tuesday anyway. Love you so much. Bye.